No idea go down without a fight. Maybe they might win this map and bring it to a third one. And we're going to be seeing a little bit more action right here as Four Court's going to bring us the hype. All right, the hype, guys, is 2-2. First map, uh, second map. If donors by heart can take this, they're going to go straight to the grand finals. But if we can tie it up here from Ham, no idea that we are going to be forced into a third game. Both teams, 2-2. They know exactly what they're doing. Squiff going to be in here. Looks uh, actually really healthy despite all the damage going down. It was majority of that immolation arrow landing onto Peta. So Peta's going to be playing a little bit more defensive. We do jump over here to Malakor, Pandrum, Antele not really trying to let go. Wisteria dropping so very low. He dies in the corner. And this is not going to be looking very good right now for Dose by Heart. We do have the dead roots come out again, but they do kind of whiff. We, we did not have a throw ready for that. We're not going to be giving up on Balakor. Out goes the goo. He just jumps right into it. Scriff and now has to go one versus three. Peta, Pandrum, and Delay doing great jobs avoiding all this damage, keeping him incapacitated, and boom! He's going to go down like the big Christmas tree that he is, and that's going to force us a number three game here, because it is a best of three. Uh, uh, best, Yeah, best of three. We're one, one, and this is going to be the third map, and both these teams, they really want to go to those grand finals oh uh, yeah they do and i mean like i said you don't have to play as many games when you are actually in the winner's seat at the grand finals and holy smokes i don't know if that was a bug or what but we had 1.5k viewers for a second i gotta give a shout out to all the viewers watching you know i uh, starting to perk up right now starting to get a little bit more energy as a uh, adrenaline yeah as these games are just getting a little bit more hype and we are going to be watching, you know, this third map. It's 1-1 one, one apiece. I just updated that in the overlays, getting a little bit more energy, you know, making sure everything is right. So Pandrum, Peta, and Delayed, even though they were down 2-0, to zero, they came back. Or no, it was 1-0, it was then it went 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, and then they came back and won at 3-2. So, all right. All right. We're going to be seeing what's going to be changing. There might be something on... The cold side, donors by heart, Wisteria's thinking, hey, maybe should I or I should play inhibitor? No, he is actually gonna go on to that seeker yet again. Delayed, gonna be looking at that stalker yet again. And Scriff, what is his pick gonna be? It is gonna be the thorn, so they are staying with the same compositions. They're not gonna go back to the usual donors by heart comp, which is Malachor on the Harold, Scriff on the Vanguard, and Wisteria on the Inhibitor. They are going to be playing Seeker and Thorn instead of Inhibitor Vanguard. So right now, worked for them uh, on the first round. Let's see if it'll work on this or first map. Let's see if it'll work on this third map. As these, you know, all these maps in general have been very close, and I'm just waiting to see who will be on top for this one. Ooh, observer bug right here. Three, two, one. Allows me to catch my breath. And the action has now just begun. As you're going to see Wisteria try and create that zone of pressure. Just throwing out the, you know, seeker strikes. The M1s just trying to make sure that Pandrum knows that he can't just freely walk in. And as I say that, Pandrum getting a nice double frog leap. Delayed going to be not hitting that roots. And oh, he hits it just right at the end. Pandrum looking to set up for a double venom lunge. Good job right there. Such huge energy gain with the toxin bomb and all the frog leaps he has hit. Leaving Wisteria at about 20% HP. He's going to try and get onto Peta. Reduce the healing that's coming out to the uh, warm teammates. As uh oh, Malakor looking very strong though. This could be bad for the warm team. As you know, Wisteria now getting the heals he needs. Getting on to Delayed. Delayed one more hit from Death Temple. A lockdown comes out. Out for the warm side. Delayed is actually going to get that kill under the thorn before the EX mushrooms come out for that heal. So good job right there. But in the meantime, a healer does go down. It looks like we or Malakor did die in the melee. And it looks like, oh, Pandrum almost got that frog leap off onto Scrip. Not going to happen though. And that was incredibly incredibly close ninja the rune wisteria probably gonna oh i thought he was gonna get the multi-shot and the ice arrow to fire arrow and what what was that combo right there he does take out wisteria oh my gosh i think he threw a couple darts out and then a toxin bomb able to do that kind of explosive damage just misses the venom the frog leap and oh man darts to m1 combo just barely before that thorn swing was about to hit him gets that one slash off and takes the victory so 1-0 in favor of this ham no idea team whoo god jeez everybody dying left and right it's 3v2 2 to 2 2 to 1 and it's just 1 1 action always cannot get closer than that 
As I said, I mean, Pandrum, I don't think I've ever seen a better Ren. And you might say other guys, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not convinced right now. Pandrum even took that two versus one here in the winner's finals, kill the king. And I mean, that is just an accomplishment and a half he can take to the bank. He already has a good amount of damage taken already, but he did go in pretty offensive. But Delayed is behind enemy lines. He's off in that corner trying to really stay on top of Malachor. Pandrum comes over to do a little bit of assist, but we did have that fear go down on Delayed. With Steria going to be trying to make big, uh, big work on him. Delayed with the, his ultimate as well as Pandrum. So we do got the shadow jumping around. Pedal with the lockdown. Somebody's dying. Somebody. It's going to be the cold team. Scrift not looking that great. Malakor is dead. Scrift is going to be plant food again. And Wisteria is just going to be dropping. That was just such a cluster big amount. I think that was all three ults at exactly the same time. Delayed using the shadow. Ranid with the lunge. And Pedal with the lockdown. And that was ridiculous damage going down. Uh-huh, yeah, that's why they are called ultimates. You can get that ultimate finish off, and as we saw right there, Scriff did sort of miss his ultimate up at the top. He did get a pull in onto Peta, but Peta did have that space up. He just, you know, went out off into the corner. Pandrum did have his Venom Lunge, so he was able to escape that mechanism as well. So I'd like to see Scriff maybe uh, try and change things up. Maybe use the X Mushrooms a little bit more because he's just not hitting his ultimate. Pandrum going to try and get that stun combo off after the Incapacitate Delayed setup with his Puncturing Strikes. Good job right there. Ice Arrow coming out, Pandrum's gonna be at 50% HP, gets the Stalker Cloak just to reduce the damage. So a good team play by Delayed. Malakor gonna get the Fear onto Delayed, gonna bring him to half, but no pressure onto Peta yet. Here it is, Scrift trying to go on in, but look at that Stalker coming out, getting full energy right now. Puncturing Strikes, maybe he'll use his ultimate really soon. Temporal Lockdown gonna hit one target, that's gonna be Scrift. Delayed gonna go in even with like 20% HP, and he is gonna get punished. Wisteria saw that, he's like, I'm gonna use my Marksman ultimate, gonna counter you, so it's gonna be a one-to-one -one loss for each team as Pandrum is looking to, you know, take this with... Oh, Peta, not gonna happen. Peta absolutely gets maraudered on by Scriff. Wisteria comes in as well with a nice blitz, multi-hero, fire arrow, you name it, he does it, he shoots it, and he guns you down. So, good play by the Cold team right there. Not gonna lose three rounds in a row as uh, you know, they are showing some kind of form of life. And this is the last map, you know, if the warm team wins, have no idea we'll be advancing to the grand finals. So you have to have to win these rounds. It is definitely a big critical import here at this point because I mean if they don't, they're gonna get they're not gonna have that pr that privilege. So Wisteria coming out with big damage right off the bat. Those immolation arrows doing a good amount, the multi-arrow keeping delayed at bay. Pandrum again going a little deep scriff, whipping that mud walk. We do got delay in here trying to do his best. We do got big damage going down. Malakor looks like he's all in capacity. We do have the chrono going down as well as the immolation. Wisteria off in the corner. Peta is gonna keep a fear to a jump from Pandrum is gonna be the end of him and Scriff right Right now he's going to be off in the corner as well. He's going to be trying to get delayed. Throws out the shield though. Let's delay. Get away. Delay is going to be over there with Malakor. We do have the ultimate come down. The dead roots from Scriff. We do have the spaces out to that. It didn't pull anyone in because I don't think it was up. Scriff with the maximum temporary hit GP. Malakor again with that HP as well. Pandrum gets feared away. Pedal's going to be trying to chase him down, but Scriff says no. I don't want you to do that at all. But we do have the ultimate coming down onto Malakor. Scriff off in the corner. They are a little split at this point. Peta is in a little bit of trouble right now though. He jumps over here to. Pandrum, that's going to leave Delayed to go two versus one, uses his Q to get out of that. He is going to get healed up as well. This is far from over, folks, because we do have Scriff going to be pulling in Peta. But right now, Peta's going to get out of that. The Dead Roots going down again, not really hitting anyone. Delayed with the Incapacitate combo with Pandrum is going to be taking out Malakar. That's going to be a three versus one. Peta, Delayed, and Pandrum are going to take down the bigger wow. three, and that means we have our grand finalist, contestant number one. Ham, no idea, is going to be moving on. Yeah, have no idea. I don't know how they pulled that one out, but they did, and great job. Delayed and Pandrum, just so aggressive, even with such little help. Sometimes it doesn't pay off, but right there, they were able to just kite around, able to do the damage, keep them contained just enough so that they could get that temporary HP and tickle them down to death. watching uh